Hi, I'm advice. I need you to help me with this question. Question four. Yes, that's me. Advice. Now it says a tangent to a circle is, and then there's a space to the radius at the point of contact. Now. As soon as I see this thing, let me give you guys some advice. This is what it means. When you look at a question like this, which is the first question of whatever question you are doing, it means that everything that you're going to be doing there arises from the theorem that you needed to complete at the, uh, on the first question rather. So what I say here will be what I'm going to be using to solve the questions that fall, or rather the theorem I'm saying there will be the properties I'm using going down. So that's one of the things you, you need to be please thinking about. So let's complete the statement quickly. So the statement says, a tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact uh, of that particular tangent with the circle. So roughly this is what it means. From there to there, I have my radius. If I draw a line like this, this will be my tangent, and that will be my radius. So there's a perpendicular relationship between the two. So that's what I'm saying. So going down, it means we're going to be using that theorem that we just spoke about now. The line LP with equation y plus x is minus 2 is equal to 0 is a tangent. So firstly, what I'm going to do here is I will write this in standard form. So it will be minus x plus 2. That's the first thing I'm going to do. And then uh, to the circle with center, so I have a center there, so c will then be minus 4 and 4. And then lastly, ln is a diameter of the circle. So ln being a diameter means it is twice the radius. Now, determine the equation of the diameter ln. So what I am given here, guys, is I'm given the equation of the tangent, which is y is equal to minus x plus 2. Uh, also, what they want then want me to do is to find the equation of that. However, what I know is the tangent is perpendicular to the radius, as we just said in the first statement. Therefore, that would mean the, uh, the, the gradient of the tangent multiplied by the gradient of the radius will then be equal to minus 1. That's the property that we have when you're talking about perpendicular lines. Therefore, I know that the gradient of the tangent is minus 1 multiplied by the gradient of the radius, which must be equal to negative 1. Therefore, the gradient of <coughs> the radius will then be 1. <coughs> Sorry, in this instance, the radius will be the line um, ln times 2, though you don't really need to times it by 2. And then I will then say use uh, negative 4 and 4 to find uh, what they want us to do. So this will be y minus um, 4 is equal to 1 into x plus 4. Then lastly, it will be y is equal to x uh, plus 8. So that will be the equation that we needed to find there. The second question says, calculate the coordinates of L. So the coordinates of L, so what I know here is, I will say this is point of intersection. So I will call it POI. So this is the point of intersection. Now, what you guys need to know about the point of intersection is that wherever two lines are intersecting, it means that they have a common point. Having a common point means the coordinates of this point on this line is this, are the same as the coordinates of the very same point on this line. So these two lines intersecting means they share a point. Therefore, they are equal to each other. So at L, the equation of the tangent and the equation of ln, which are like this, will then be equal to each other. So that's what we're going to be using to solve this one. Now, what I then have there will then be, <coughs> sorry, what I have there will be, I want the coordinates of L. So I will say at L. Um, y of ln is equal to y of the tangent. So that's what I will do. Now remember y of the of fl, we said it's x plus 8. This must be equal to minus x uh, plus 2. Let's just verify. Yes, plus 2. 
And then this will then be equal to, I have two x there is equals to minus six. Therefore, x is equals to negative three. To find y, then you sub negative three, right? y <coughs> is equals to x plus 8, therefore this will be equals to minus 3 plus 8, which is equals to a5. Therefore, to write down the coordinates, then I will say coordinates of L is negative 3 and 5. Now again, guys, one of the things that you always need to try and do is to make sense of what you are doing. So if I say find the coordinates, what the coordinates are must make sense with where they are in terms of the Cartesian plane. I've got negative 3 and 5. So negative 3 number 1 means it is either in the second quadrant or in the third quadrant. If I get a 5, it means it must be in the second quadrant. You look at the diagram point, L is actually in the second quadrant. So that's how you try and make sense of whatever that you are doing in the process of you solving the problem. Now let's have a look at the next question. The last question uh, says then, determine the equation of the circle. Now to find the equation of the circle, what I'm then going to do here is, I'm going to tell you that we need two things, two of the important things. Firstly, we need the center, and then secondly, we need the radius, right? So this, we are already given that, so we need this one. Now to find the radius, we are given that ln is the diameter, right? If ln is the diameter, it means that it being the diameter would then mean that it is um, two times the radius that we have. So that's one of the things that we need to know. So I will then write the equation here to say it's x minus a all squared plus y minus b all squared is equal to r squared. Therefore, this will be x plus 4 squared plus y minus 4 all squared is equal to r squared. Now to find that I can use the coordinates of L. So I will just say use the coordinates of L which we found to be negative 3 and 5, right? So that would mean I'll have negative 3 plus 4 all squared is plus 5 minus 4 all squared is equal to r squared. The negative 3 plus 4 will be 1. 1 squared is a 1. Plus 5 minus 4 will be 1. So 1 squared will also be 1 is equal to r squared. Therefore, the radius will then be equal to a square root of 2. But that's not what we wanted, right? What we wanted was the equation. So I go back to this point here and substitute what I just found. So therefore, the equation will be x plus 4 squared plus y minus 4 all squared is equal to uh, square root of 2, which will be 2. So that's what I will then have there. Now, guys, what we are trying to look at here is Firstly, if I give you a theorem when you're starting the question, it means that all the subsequent questions that you're going to be answering depend on the theorem that I gave you. Not, not all of them really, but most of them will need a certain concept that has to do with that theorem that I gave you. So that's one thing that you need to please take from this exercise that we, we just did right now. The second thing is, with that theorem, you then need to know what the properties of that theorem are. The properties will involve things like the product of the two gradients must be equal to minus one. Why? Because they are perpendicular to each other. So if, if I know the gradient of the other, then I can find the gradient of the earth. To find the equation of the line, then remember, I need the gradient and the y-intercept, which is what we found. Lastly will be the equation of a circle. Equation of a circle, I need two things. I need the radius, I also need uh, the center. So I was given the center, which is not at the origin, I was also given the radius. So that's what you guys need to please be thinking about in order to answer this particular question. Right?